welcome back to my channel my name is Roxanne if this is your first time here hello um, and today we're gonna be talking a little bit about His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik this is the first book in the Temerary series um, I'm not sure how many there are total there are two more in the back of the book so possibly three maybe more um, but yeah I don't have too much to say about this because it's pretty short and but I did want to talk to you guys about it because I really did enjoy it. I thought it was great, really fun read. And so I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about it. Plus I need to practice my reviews, so here we go. So in this book, we meet Lawrence, who is a sailor in the Navy for England. This, this I should probably talk a little bit more about this, what this book is about, no? Hmm. That's why I need practice. So this book is a retelling, of of the Napoleonic Wars but with dragons so there is historical and fantastical elements to it um, and so we meet Lawrence who's a sailor in the English Navy and they have just um, sort of overpowered this French ship and in the ship they find a dragon's egg and there are tensions between what they call the aerial core the aerial course will essentially the, the men and women responsible for flying the dragons um, and the navy they they sort of think ne think negative things about each other they don't get along um, Lawrence is an upper class very well educated man who sort of does look down a little bit on the individuals of the of the core and so he is thrown into that life when um, Temeraire, the dragon, hatches and makes a connection with him. And so he has an incredible sense of duty and feels that he, despite whatever he may have thought before, um, he has to do his duty to his country and do what is right and join the Aerial Corps. And it's definitely by no means easy, but um, it is great to see his character development. Um, he begins to to develop and to change and essentially we see how he through his interactions with the individuals through his beautiful beautiful relationship with Temeraire um, he begins to change and the prejudices that he had before with regards to the core begin to fade away he bec he begins to become one of them and it's really this beautiful thing especially in this day and age when we see so many individuals with prejudices and this inability to, to overcome them or to see the error of their ways. It's so great to read a, a great character who is able to do just that. And so um, this book, it was pretty fast paced. Um, it's not very long. It's like 353 or 57 pages, something like that. Um, so it's very quick paced and it's it's very much to in in my opinion it was more character driven than plot driven i didn't think there was too much action in it and if there was it wasn't for very long periods of time um and they just served as ways for us to better get to know these characters better get to know Temer and his abilities and his beautiful characteristics and personality and and to see how lawrence is able to develop and become better um, situated to his new situation and and really um, say you know fuck it to everything that I thought before and to what my family and friends might think this is my duty and I have come to love this new life and and I'm gonna fight to protect it with everything that I can and that's and that's really really beautiful um, the relationship that we see between Lawrence and Temeraire is probably one of the most tender, beautiful, just genuine, innocent relationships that I've probably read in a really long time. There is just something so heartwarming about it that I loved. I mean, we get to see Temer be so innocent, but so eager, like a like a like a child who just wants to learn everything. And who loves Lawrence so so much in ways that I don't I don't know that I, I don't I mean I don't read many dragons but mythical creatures 
I've, I haven't seen that that sort of love described in, in, in any other books with myth mythical creatures and it was just so great to read and it provided such an escape from all the craziness that's been going on um, because of the election or whatever. I really enjoyed it and sort of any time that anything happened to disrupt that, that sense of companionship and brotherly love and just beautiful, beautiful friendship and brotherhood that they that they had, I just got so sad because it's so beautiful. I really don't know that there's any other word to describe their friendship because that's exactly what it is. It's And it's so genuine that you just, you're like, I want to meet Temerer and I want, I want to love him and I want him to love me like he loves Lawrence. Um, it's funny to, to see their interactions. It's, it's funny and it's entertaining and it just, it really just filled my heart with joy. I really, really enjoyed it. Nothing really too complex about the world. It, it's just England with dragons. There's That seems to be the only sort of magical, fantastical component about it. Um, and so that's, that's why I say it was more driven by the relationship of the characters and the characters themselves. Beyond that, I didn't think that there was too much um, depth to the story, which, I mean, isn't necessarily a bad thing. This was a very entertaining adventure book that, that I really loved, that I really loved and that I really liked and that it was very fun. And I definitely recommend it, um, especially if you sort of want to take a, a break from these very involved fantasy reads where that they completely immerse you in it's this whole new world and this whole new magic season that you have to that you have to learn and and, and get involved in and and get into if you want to read something that's a little bit of a break from that then i definitely recommend this one and it's still in the fantasy world uh, or fantasy genre it's very fun it's a quick paced read so i definitely recommend it i am excited to pick up the next book there's a lot of things that that can be done with the characters and with the world and so i'm excited to see where naomi novik continues to take it mostly the reason why i think i gave it four out of five stars was because i just felt that towards the end it got a little bit predictable by the way now that i'm saying completely unrelated to the predictable thing but also about the book did anybody else has anybody who else who has read it anybody else get like some jane austen pride and prejudice -y feels from it because i certainly did there's an interaction that lawrence has with one female with one female character and i was just like a uh, total mr darcy moment right there and so that completely just spoke to me in every level and warmed my heart and so I love this book um, and I love that part in particular but yeah so it was a it was a great read I definitely recommend it let me know if you've read it um, let me know if you think you're gonna read it uh, if you read it and then come back and talk to me about it um, thank you guys so much for watching I know this was a pretty short video but there isn't too much to say but I wanted to get something out for you guys and I've, I've enjoyed this enough to talk about it with you guys so uh, connect with me in my social media I love to make new friends and talk to you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching have a great great day guys Mwah.